Alright, today we're going to be doing a pretty thorough walkthrough on the Bobcat E85. To start with, this is an American built product. Uh, it's not assembled in the United States, it's actually manufactured and designed in the United States. Right in their manufacturing facilities in Dakota. You'll be able to see iron go in one side, machine come out the other side. Let's climb on in the cab. Alright, first off, let's look at the floor on this. No foot pedals, plenty of leg room. You're not cramped in any way. Uh, foot pedals are always a problem. You don't get the control out of a foot pedal. You do out of anything else. This machine, your primary controls are all on your hands other than your forward and reverse controls, which also have foldable pedals so you can have more space for your feet. Your thumb, your boom swing, they're right here on your thumbs, fingertip control. So there's no looking down, adjusting foot pedals, trying to figure out which way everything goes. No more jumping around. Bobcat does a lot of things better on the big side of things, but also it's their little things that really make the difference. Like this window. We've all dealt with other manufacturers that have pull pins here. You pull them and then you lock them, and then you slide this up a squeaky track. This one here, it just runs on shock absorbers with two handles. That's all there is to raising that window and lowering it's the same thing. Simple as that. Now, where it's on that shock absorber, it doesn't sit and rattle. There is no rattle in that window. It's got buffers and everything. It just sits quietly and stays there. Side windows. Uh, we've all dealt with side windows and equipment. It's always a rough, hard drag. This one here, easy latch, smooth slide. Multiple positions to latch. No more fighting with side windows. This machine also has a heated seat. That might sound uh, maybe a little bit hoity-toity, but if you got all these windows, the door open, so you can hear the guys out on the ground. They're out moving around, staying warm. You're in here freezing. Turn on that right there. That's all it takes to keep you warm. Okay. All right, you'll also notice just the width of the cab. Elbow room all around. Easily turn around every direction. No bumping your elbows. You can see all around you. And that is a safety issue, not being able to see around you. The visibility in this cab is, there is no other equipment on the market that offers this level of visibility. You can see right down onto your work group right here. You can see this track over here. You can see this track here. Uh, rear window is nice and low. You can see right to the ground, right below you. Let's go to the deluxe instrument panel. This is something you will only get in a Bobcat product. Other manufacturers make an instrument panel that it might even look similar to this, but they have nowhere near the features. So this gives you all the things that any instrument panel will give you. It gives you your fuel, your RPMs, uh, oil pressure, temperature gauge. It also does things like password protection. You can put up to eight operators in this computer features. So on this panel, you turn on your headlights. You can scroll through, you can pick attachments. Breaker, grapple, depth check, lasers, hydro tilt. It controls all those attachments right here from on board. Another feature you're gonna get out of this is all your password lockouts. So this is a keyless machine. You can set multiple passwords in it up to eight different users. That also gives you information about operator habits while they're running the machine. Tells you how many hours each user's using it. Um, tells you if they've run it for six hours with a dirty air cleaner. Uh, tells you what kind of fuel usage they've got, what kind of gallons per hour of fuel they're using. Um, 
there's there's no other machine on the market that offers this kind of technology. Also, if you have depth check, which is a Bobcat factory accessory, it will read right on this onboard display. So you can go here, go back to the depth check. It will fill up this screen and it'll give you the up and down on your teeth. It'll let you know exactly how deep you're digging from a baseline you can set. Another feature that you get out of Bobcat is telematics. The telematics uh, act like kind of a low jack type of system. If the machine gets stolen, we can ping it and find it. It also will send service reminders to the dealership. They'll send critical uh, codes to the dealership. Say your oil pe pressure drops. Uh, it will send an email to our service manager that you've got a machine with bad oil pressure. He can call you the owner and let you know you got a machine running out there with low oil pressure. We need to get something done. Uh, it helps take it out of the hands of hands of your guys. I'm sure you got good people, but every now and then they'll miss a gauge. Um, this lets you know when something's going wrong. All right, let's uh, talk about the exterior of the machine. Obviously, this machine was ordered with the segmented tracks. You can get it also with rubber, standard rubber, or steel tracks. These are a segmented track. Uh, pretty good option. You can take those segments out individually and change one if you need to. All right. This is one big advantage to the Bobcat your access to everything. You open up the hood right here, you've got most of your vital vital stuff right here. Your oil filter or your oil fill, secondary oil fill, alternator, starter, injectors, all the things that commonly break on any piece of equipment right there are changeable. Over here, you've got your filters, your hydraulic, your fuel, air filter, hydraulic fill, there's more hydraulic filters right here. All of it accessible without without having to tip the cab, without having to take more panels off. Um, things like this work group here. You can actually get a wrench on all this stuff. And this work group right here, you can take out a couple bolts and it will pull up so you can get to it. This machine has a quarter miles of hose inside of it. Eventually there will be a problem with the hose. When you look at another machine, uh, can you change a hose on that machine? Uh, one of the biggest things you get out of a Bobcat that you don't get out of any other manufacturer is what it doesn't have, and that's all the EPA junk. So this still qualifies as a tier four compliant machine. But what it doesn't have is this doesn't take DEF, and it also doesn't have a diesel particulate filter. Uh, the diesel particulate filter is a type of muffler. It has a screen inside of it. It catches all the carbon uh, that the engine emits. Uh, eventually it gets fairly well filled up. The machine goes into regeneration and burns that out. Now, industry-wide, regen is a bit of an issue. Um, I'm sure you've heard some of your friends, other people, or you own another piece of equipment that goes into regen you know what kind of problems you can have with regeneration systems. Uh, while it's regen and it runs funny, uh, or one of your employees hits the button to stop regen two or three times, plugs up the filter, uh, and then you have to call out a service tech to actually do a, a stopped regen. This does not have that. Also, that regen muffler will eventually have to be replaced. They were able to do this without any of that stuff. Just uptime protection, things that aren't gonna aren't gonna stop you from working. Ease of service, uh, things like grease service. Uh, Bobcat really thought about that. They've they put poly bushings inside their bushings, uh, so you don't have to grease it as often. Now, obviously, you're gonna want your guys to grease it every day, but this machine can go up to 250 hours without being greased. Uh, let's take note of some of the greasers and how easy they are to get to. They aren't fighting anything. It 
put all their greasers right where you can see them. Right here, right here. They'll even do things like right here. You have a port that runs up and catches this pin up here on top. They just want to make everything easily accessible. The easier it is to get to, the more likely your people are to grease. All right, now we're going to talk about where the rubber actually hits the road. Uh, the bucket, uh, the quick coupler. Uh, this is a pin grabber style quick coupler. Um, there is a trick to making them work from inside the cab. OSHA requires a three-step process. Um, I can go through that with you later on the video. Uh, so here's your quick coupler. The thumb. Look at the thickness, just the pure weight of this thumb. It is meant to take abuse. Uh, the thumb does take abuse, always. Uh, this one here is going to hold up to it. Uh, hoses. They try to tuck hoses in the best they can. Uh, they run them inside of something wherever possible. Uh, they make fittings easy to get to if something does get broke. Second function hydraulics. So you don't have to disconnect your thumb to hook up a breaker or a hydro hammer, uh, plate compactor, your auger, anything like that. You just hook right here and there's one on the other side. It's as simple as that. You push a button on the dash and it just goes. Run on up, up, you can see how all the lines are tucked in right along the top. Less likely to hit them on something. Boom work lights. On down, protective shielding for rams. One thing about this machine is the carriage is more tucked in than other products. This here, when it's turned sideways and you're working along the side of a building or a tree or something like that, it doesn't swing outside the machine. Usually that ram will be on the other side, which sticks out like a thumb, and that is the first thing that smacks everything. Another thing, just protecting that ram, protecting the things around it. Uh, the machine is also offered with an additional counterweight. You can add counterweight to this machine if you want more lift capability. It already has the highest lift capability in its class, but there is additional counterweight you can add to it. Back to little things. This here's a lift hook. OSHA's requiring lift hooks. The days of throwing a chain around your bucket and lifting something into place are just about gone. If anybody's watching, you get in trouble for things like that. This has got an actual OSHA certified lift hook on it. So you don't have to mess with, with changing your bucket, taking your bucket off and putting a lift eye on. It's already got one installed from the factory. Back to little things. Work lights. Bang, bang, bang. One on each side of the boom. Uh, you, you don't get those kind of features from the other competitors. Mirrors, both sides. Dual flange rollers on the tracks. Gives you better over the side digging. Normally you'll just have a roller running through the center of the track. This roller rolls on both sides of the center of the track doubles doubles the amount of surface all right like we talked little things this here's a sun visor it goes over this top window keeps the sun off of you on those hot days no more glare coming out of that window and if you need better visibility you can just take it down selectable joysticks uh, you'll have three operators and none of them will agree on how they want to run it. This right here, there's no excuse to hop on and run it on the pattern you're not familiar with. It does have a radio. Your speakers are right behind you. The HVAC's right here. Heat, air conditioning. You got vents that'll blow on your feet. You got vents that blow on the window for defrosting reasons. Uh, you got vents here to your sides that can be turned towards the windows. Radiators. Uh, they're always dirty. This is something you can do on the Bobcat. You can't do on most of our competitors. I have a nut there. 
tip that down and blow out here. You can blow out there. This one does the same thing. No reason not to maintain it. No reason not to keep your radiator clean. Air cleaner, it's right there. No tricks to taking it in and out. Today's engine, it's twice as important to keep your air cleaner clean as it was before. That's all there is to this. Dual filters, inner and outer. Sensor tells you when the air filter is actually dirty. All right, you got a chart right here. It gives you all your grease points. It gives you an interval for them. There are some. The one 10 hours, 50 hours, 250, 1,000 hour grease points. Sight glass for your hydraulics. Fill for your hydraulics. You can actually get a five gallon bucket up to that. Windshield washer fluid. Battery. There's no taking panels off. Just take a couple bolts off. Battery comes right out. Thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. I promised my kids a shout out, so hi Reagan, hi Cash, thank you again for watching.